Um, so, I mean, like, you know, when you go to a farmer's market, you're there for, like, the fresh produce anyway. So, you're going to get it from, right, straight from the farm. Because right here, you, they know they get good, fresh, locally fresh produce. And with the uh, supermarket, they may be coming from Arizona, Florida, Texas, anywhere. And I can truly tell the difference. It looks healthier. Like, it doesn't have so many additives and... Most likely the soil is probably cleaner since it's not been grown for a whole lot of people. And I'm sure that the person who sold it to me is probably the person who grew it. These were picked this morning, by the way. Um, we grow every kind of tree fruit that you can grow in this area. Peaches, plums, nectarines, uh, apples, pears, Asian pears. Cherry, apricots, uh, and then as far as berries, we do the blueberries, we do blackberries, red raspberries, uh, we have uh, grapes. Yeah, I like the fresh produce and the fruit, so we got peaches and some homemade preserves. And blueberries. And, and blueberries also. I'm sure when we get home, that's the first thing I want to do is rinse off the berries and eat some. Everyone's nicer. I mean, you get to recognize everyone. They're the same vendors uh, every week, and so you get to know them. You talk to them a little. Um, you know, after a while, you come in for the same things, and they let you know about them. So it's really much more personable, too, because, you, you know, I've seen these people for the last couple of years. So We grew 4,000 strawberry plants one year, and uh, I took the strawberries out to Route 4, and a gentleman came with money in hand and said, Ma'am, are you the same woman that grows the peaches? And I said, yes, I am. He says, well, my mother told me that if ever I saw you out here, that whatever you were selling, I was to bring to her. I love it. Came up on the farm. Started off with a guy named George Bowie. And when I was knee-high to a duck, and I've been there ever since, off and on. If I got, no matter what I'm doing, I'll stop for this. I mean, most of all, I enjoy the people. But then there's some good people out here and they come in, you know, we, it don't seem like cousins, it seems like family. And I get along with everybody good and they get along with me and I enjoy it. We work seven days a week, 14 hour days. We start anywhere from 5.30 to 7 in the fields. Um, and all my folks selling here are also field work. We do a massive amount of baking. A lot of the baking, we wait for it to come out of the oven and then we cut it here. The peaches were picked this morning. And uh, yeah, we're, we're busy. Every day is different. That's the one thing about it. It's every day is different. Like I always tell them, it's farm work. When we're done, we're done. You know, so every day varies as far as quitting time. Well, around Northern Virginia, I think a lot of your farms are smaller farms. A lot of farmettes, uh, 50 acres here, a uh, couple larger farms, but with housing and the encroachment of the urban areas, it's getting harder and harder to farm. Yes, in fact, in Anne Arundel County, there's very little farmland left. The farmers markets give us an opportunity to cut out the middleman and sell our product for a, a retail price, which uh, increases our income or tries to offset some of the costs that we're now faced with between taxes, uh, land values, different things like that. So. Um, to a certain degree, I'd say it's a survival mechanism. If farmers can make a living at growing food, they won't be so apt to sell the farms. Farms are uh, leaving this area and because of land values and different things. Um, I would think that even if they don't go into agriculture, and it really doesn't bother me if, if they don't um, you know, grow up and have a farm like we do, but at least they understand when they sit down to a plate of food at a restaurant or go to the grocery store, they, they understand what it took to get it there and they appreciate agriculture. And I think the more people we can educate and understand and uh, so that they ask for local products or American made, you know, or American grown or American raised products, I think that benefits all of us. So, yeah. We like those roots to be deep even though we don't know what they're going to do in the future. Buy local. Buy from your farmer. Keep him in business, you know. And uh, I think it's sinking in. We're, we, we live in heaven. We grow fruit in heaven. And it grows well. It seems to do well there. It likes its home. <laughs>